there's a day we're born into this world and a day that we depart from it. No matter what anybody says, you can't live forever. But you can leave your mark though. It's what you do between life and death that will determine whether anybody remembers you or not. But the question is, how do you want to be remembered? By your friends, by your children, by people you don't even know. If you're in this basketball business, leaving your mark is easier said than done. You gotta have a strong mentality, and it takes years for an individual to spend information. If you haven't already heard of KP, allow me to introduce you to him. He's an up and coming basketball trainer. But amongst that, he's a guy that's looked up to because of his impact on young men in the area that lacks role models. He's helped so many young men, you know, get to college, you know, helping their games mature, you know, giving them things that, you know, that a lot of guys just not around here doing right now, man. I mean, this 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 young man is really He's really helped the community. You know, I think it's great for the community. Anytime that you can give back and help people around here to go to college where they can get educated and hopefully come back and change the community, I think it's a great thing. And I'm glad to see a young brother step up and do something positive because, you know, around here in the open area, all you hear about is negativity. So that's a great thing, and I'm glad. I hope it gets out to everyone that there's people here like KP doing positive. Uh, since after you know him more, you can tell. He's kind of better than the others. I mean, I've seen a couple videos. I mean, a lot of dribbling, a lot of uh, people are called gimmicky stuff. But I mean, when I got into work, I was all business. It's game type of situations. It's not like just going out there working on a bunch of random stuff. Everything is for a reason. I feel like what he's doing is a, a real big thing right now. I, I enjoy everything he does, you know what I'm saying? That's why I help him out a lot. You know, anything he needs, anything he, you know, any help with rebounding, he needs me to go on a trip with him, I, you know, hey, brother, I'm, I'm with you, you know what I'm saying, 110%. I told him that from the beginning, I'm gonna keep telling him to the end, you know, I'm, I'm with you, bro. It's nothing like having a community that supports you. KP is as real as it gets, and comes from a humble family who raised him the right way. He really studied the art of basketball. We'd be kids and sit in the house all day watching NBA basketball games, and I used to hate that. Because me personally, as a kid, I was into wrestling. I didn't want to watch basketball all day. So for some reason, KP had us watching it every day over and over and over again. I thought once I got older, maybe things would change. No. We got older, he watched basketball more. And I started paying attention a lot more. I started seeing that he was study Steve Nash, Steve Nash's workouts over and over again. Like, I didn't even know NBA players had workouts online. I uh, got him a little basketball hoop in the backyard. And one day, I looked out in the back and he was dunking the ball and all kind of stuff. And I knew he wanted to play ball, you know. So he pretty much made his own decisions about basketball and what he wanted to do. This right here is when I was a junior at Fremont High School. I had my braids, kind of like a little tough way look. My senior year, got the nice haircut. Um, that's when I first started getting, you know, when I started seeing myself um, capable of getting recruited. Maybe at the D1 level, maybe at the D2 level. When he was in Idaho, and they were down, by, I think they were down by a point. And I think it was like maybe five or six seconds left. And you know, he got the ball in the backcourt. And he dribbled all the way through everybody and scored on a layup. And, and you know, it was on the ground and his players picked him up. And it was big. It was big. The crowd went crazy. You know, he was pointing at me up in the stands and, you know, doing his thing on his chest. Me and my pops really connected there, you know. I remember working out hard during the summer for that particular moment. I remember um, there's a big rivalry game in Idaho, so I remember running the hills, getting up at 5.30, 6 in the morning, preparing not just for my skill and for my overall result, but I really wanted to really thrive in that game. And when that happened, I just, the perfect thing happened. I got the N1. 
I made it, got up, and I was already facing the crowd, so I just, my pops was right there, and I just pounded my chest, you know, that was just something I'll never forget. If he's coming down the court with the ball, and the game is on the line, that's the guy you want to have with the ball in his hand. He's, he's about to do his thing. Just in case there were questions about whether KP could hoop or not, yeah, KP can go. You can say what you want to, but it's always nice having a trainer who can do what he preaches. I be on like shit, mix Hennessy and 18. I'm feeling hella cool, guess it's a babe thing. I love it all, man. Good with it all. I'm trying to have a good time with a bad bra. It's the same thing every day. Wake up and work out. That's how we do things here at Project Basketball Training. The grind starts bright and early. KP likes to get a little early morning workout. A nice lift and a little meditation before the workout begins. I just want to stay in shape, you know. I never want my players able to say that I'm a fat trainer or something like that because I'm always trained. So, and I always trying to be able to play them one on one. Sometimes we play once a week and stuff like that. So, I come and I lift, and uh, and then after that, I just get in here and I just sweat it out. And I'm hungry. I'm hungry as hell right now. <laughs> the workout and the sauna. It's just a pregame routine. Is gearing him up physically and mentally for the workout at hand. KP works out a lot of people, from pro to college to high school on down. If you're willing to work, KP will be there, no matter where he has to travel. The workout is formed to fit the player's play style, while at the same time strengthening their weaknesses. It doesn't matter what position you play, he's got something for it all. If you're an outside player, every workout your handies get a little bit better. There's no feeling greater than knowing that no one can take the ball from you. The workouts are A1. From dribbling, to passing, to shooting, all of that. But it's more of a thing that you have to experience firsthand to really understand. After the workout, KP likes to eat healthy. But I mean, sometimes Al's just hits the spot. This right here, this is Al's. Uh, everybody in Oakland know about Al's. The best breakfast spot in Oakland. What we get is the Al special. Uh, I get ground turkey over rice, uh, the cheese on it, got uh, eggs, bell peppers, onions, mushrooms. I bring all my friends here. I've been knowing Al since I was a young kid. I used to catch the bus right there in front of the, um, in front of the shop. So. Um, it just bring back memories. I still come here today. No bad times, dry toes. Dry toes. <laughs> how are you? Well, how's your, how's your girl? Your wife? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A boy. Yeah. He's three weeks old. Yeah. He's small too. Yeah. Al's been there for over 30 years. Right in the middle of the hood and everyone remembers them all the same. It's loving people like Al that's helped build character in KP. And instinctively, he'll pass that along to his newborn. Often in this life, Things happen perfectly that we never planned out from the start. Don't question these situations. Just go with it and keep making the best out of what has become. This particular story began with a kid that's now known as a basketball guy to me. But he isn't a guy. Just somebody who worked hard at a high level long enough to earn the rights to the title. I used to bring him to the gym and we used to play one-on-one and I'd be killing him. He'll tell you too. I used to be killing him every time we go to the gym, but he was little and I would just teach him moves. I remember, I remember we would be at 24 hour fitness and then 
I would uh, do a move. And I remember exactly what move it was. It was like a, it was like a jab step, like a rocker step, kind of what Kobe does. And my end with a finger roll, Kobe be dunking. But I would always score on Kiwi like that. And I remember he was like, show me that, bro, show me that. So I show Kiwi. I go play my five on fives. He was like kind of too little to play. Nobody really wanted him to play. And he'll be on the side asking to play one on one with cats like, hey, will you guard me? Will you guard me? And he was doing the same move to everybody. And then from there, every year he would go off to school. He would get better. I just hear about it. He would let me know. He would tell me. He would come back, get better. And I remember this one time when he was at West Wind, senior year, he came back. And that boy just straight was killing us. KP. So Kiwi, you know, playing one on one six games. If he went on six, he's taking a Chipotle on him. And it got it was out of pocket. It got real out of pocket. Now, I I, I thought I was good at the time, but I mean I didn't realize how good he was until I actually got up against him and played him one on one. He was scoring at will. I mean he he was as for him to be at his height. He's pretty athletic, so I mean, he, he blocked a couple of my shots, man. It was just it was just a whole different level of basketball playing against him. And I mean, I, from that from that one-on-one -on -one experience, he taught me a lot. His game has evolved, you know. So then after that, we were grinding all day and during the summer. Like, he worked at this place called Triple Threat Academy with me, and I was the camp director. What was it, 9 to 2? We would work camp from 9 to 2. Then I'd have my private workouts from two to like 10 and Kiwi would jump in any workout that he was available to. So if somebody called and canceled, Kiwi would jump in that workout. So he was working out like five times a day. We're in the gym from nine in the morning to 10 at night. So I called Trav, man, he area's finest. That's my fam now, but I didn't really know him at the time. And I was just like, hey, Key, get him to come to the gym and like, gosh, this is some special stuff. Like you're growing, you know, like. Kiwi hit me about KP, just said, my guy, I mean, he trains me, he wants to do something. And so, I mean, from that point, it was just kind of in my head, like, okay, I mean, we can make something happen. And after that, I mean, I, I, I think I talked to KP, he contacted me and, uh, you know, we just touched base and I mean, we never really connected, but we were kind of in touch. I called Trav and I'm like, you know, Trav, man, like, I, can you come up here? I know you said you would, but can you come up here and film this workout? I don't know what you can do with it. You've never done a workout film, but can you come up here and, you know, cover this? Because this is something special, I feel. So, I mean, my idea was I wanted to do something a little bit different than just filming like I film a game. You know, I want to show different aspects of the workout and, like, what they're doing and the drill work. Finally came up the other couple weeks later, and, uh, and I was sitting there. I was like, Trav, you ready? You ready to go? You ready to film me? He's like... He's like, yeah, I'm ready when you are. And he just whipped out his small camera. His camera was like this big. And I was just like, that small little camera, you you ready? He's like, yeah. I'm like, all right. So he shot it. it. You know, we did our regular workout. I mean, they went hard the whole time, like dripping sweat, drenched. Once I filmed it, I knew I was like, okay, I can make something dope with this, man. And I, I hit him. I said, yo. I got some fire dropping in the morning. And I got all excited. I'm like, uh-oh, it's going it's to drop. But when it dropped, man, I'm telling you, I just got a call from Shamar like, KP, you on Hoop Mixtape, you on Hoop Mixtape. And then once we put it out, it was nothing but love. And I mean, he's, he's taking the, the video workouts and just put himself out there like on a whole nother level. Travis is the one that inspired me to make my own films. So I went and got this Sony. And he, he would call me like every time he's making a video, you know, how do I do this? Oh, I want it to look like this. I want to make this happen. Just, just trying to soak up every bit of information and skill he, he could. Everybody always asks me like, where did the KP project come from? And I mean, to be honest, there's a button, you know, there's a tab on the computer when you make your film and it says, name the project. And I was like, I was thinking like Rise, Basketball, or, or I don't know. Like I was thinking of names for days and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna call it the KP project because I didn't know how to edit film. I didn't know anything. I was just like, you know, just this is my project I'm doing. So it's the KP project, and I just ran along with it. And uh, some people have certain feelings about it, um, but that's what it was. I mean, it's it's pretty much over now. The KP project is history. You know, I just kind of let all those videos just lay, and um, that's what it was. But right now, it's a uh, it's project basketball. And that's the program that you know I have now. Today I'm working out Kendall Jackson. Been working him out for a few years now. I met him at when he was at Bishop O'Dowd. 
Um, he's always just been like a little point guard, you know, and just kept improving, you know. So uh, today we're just going to really work on uh, a lot of just pick and roll stuff, you know, consistent jump shot, um, a little bit of ball handling, just just really making sure that he's ready to really be a college point guard next year, you know. Teach him as much as he can right now before he really gets to college uh, and learns that college system. He's really got me better with my handles and just my craftiness because I'm a small guard. I, I really got to be crafty. So KP really helped me out with that. Kendall's one of those guys who play with a lot of good players and never really got his chance to shine. He was always considered too small to play D1. But you know what? It don't matter what people think. He kept working on his game with KP, went to prep school, and got MVP of his league, and then signed D1. I wonder what those same people think now that he came up. As you can see, he could play a little bit. Kendall is a starter of what's to come for this series. Now that you know a little bit about KP, it's time to meet his players. From NBA on down. Stay tuned and watch the development of an up-and-coming basketball trainer as he stays in formation.